Well, everybody, it's Randy Canar with Maine Wildlife Management. Today we're down here in Frankfort, <clears throat> taking care of some mouse and squirrel issues. Now, we had a bunch of spots here around the piping. You can see where the there was all these gaps, and there's a whole bunch of gaps underneath here. The cracks where the siding and the uh, foundation come together. So we've got some stainless steel mesh in there. A little gap there, we go back and finish sealing up. And we'll see the, the caulking is really just to hold that stainless steel mesh in there so they can't chew back through there. And this foundation is a little rough because it's got a foam. It was an old camp and they jacked it up and put a foam down and stuck it out here part way around this side, around that side, around half of the building. Now that the other day we just finished putting all this uh, stainless steel in there, you can see we're starting to find new spots where mice are coming and going. Yeah, so this wasn't here before, last time we were here. There were other holes like this, but this particular one was not here. That one, which I'll show you around here, you, know, you get some of these spots, it's just, it's just foam. You know, not a very good foundation for keeping mice out because they can chew right through it. What we're going to end up having to do is put some wire up there, bring it out here, bring in some crushed stone, cover the whole thing. When you get down inside that crawl space, you can look around at all these cracks and you can see light coming through. And there's a number of these spots. One of the main ones was over here around these HVAC lines that come out of the heat pump. And they're just, you know, just foam. You know. And all they did was they started chewing around them. And they chewed their way in. So we get them stuffed up there for now. Uh, with that stainless steel mesh. Little shards of stainless steel. They don't like to chew through it. And that'll hold them down for a little while. But what we're going to end up having to do is find a little bit better seal for it. And then get in the inside here. several issues you can see the foam where they've been chewing let's see if the camera pick it up and all those little pieces of uh, foam there are where the mice have been chewing I don't know if the cameras gonna pick it up or not let me see if I can't get up through here but up here where the squirrels where the mice came through it's like here Get themselves a little spot where they chewed it out. You, know, you can see where they've tunneled all around that foam. And over there, this spot here, where that yellow wire is on the back side, where it went through the joist, the floor joist, you can actually see where the mice chewed the wire itself because it was easier to chew than the wood and they enlarged that hole so they can travel back and forth between these um, bays. So I'm going to continue sealing it up, get all these tra mice trapped out of here and get the building sealed up. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks guys.